Hey guys, in this video I want to show you a really cool project that Epic Games themselves have created, namely the Stackerbot. Look into your marketplace, then look from Stackerbot, and you can download the project completely for free. It's only one gigabyte big, not like the 100 gigabyte demo that they previously released, and this is a way for you to learn Unreal Engine 5, because they want to show off the possibilities into this project. You can learn that way. Now, follow me right here into Unreal Engine. You start off with a new world partition settings and you can do this like for example where we look now right here and then go to window world partition right now we can see this square but when you select everything right click load select cells then you can see the entire map so that is this text right here and what i also want to show is that it's created this with lumen and nanite when you hold ctrl l you can see real-time global illumination happening right here. And you can change the angle of the sun like this, for example. You go to lit, nanite, and for example, triangles. You can see big parts of this map are made with the nanite geometry system. You can go back from triangles to lit view right here. And then you can also play the game because they have so pretty cool game elements. And they also explain in their comment sections how you can tweak these values and how they create it. So now when I hit play, yeah, we're right here. You can use some triggers and then hit the F key and it creates a new robot and it has some dynamic game elements. For example, when I now am here, hit F key and I have a robot and I can walk right through here. And there are some other pretty nifty features like buttons, for example. And I can go right here. And you can create your own level just like this. So, you can have a look around. Now, when you hit an item and hit Ctrl B, you go right to that place in your content drawer. You can check these things out, how they are created. Some examples that I have right here, namely the animations from the Animbot. So, for example, you can see, first we do the ground locomotion. This contains only a blend space. And then you can actually click on this, and then you can see this happening. See? And you can really go into depth and read what this all means, and then you can learn that way. Or for example, you can here preview the animations that I had. You can also see the materials right here. See? And also tweak these values, learn from these materials, look this one up. See how they are created here. And then you can go back here. For example, the jetpack that this robot has, how is this created? It blends between these colors multiplied by this mask, for example. This is a parameter that you can create and then you can test out things for yourself. This is a missive color that I showed you and so on and so forth. Here at the jetpack, you also have this particle effect taking place. You can also tweak the values of this one. So for example, you can tweak these values and can really go nuts with these and test this out and how they are created. You can also see the emitter timeline right here. Uh, how are certain game objects created into your viewport or the event graph and they are added with comments. For example, when this is the start pound pad activated and there are many more comments inside of comments so you can really learn as well. Or also the HUD, so we saw press E to activate a door for example. You go to graph and then you can see the explanation and the blueprint controls that they used in here. Also the HUD from the loading screen, how is this created, how it's in a sequence and so on and so forth. How do they do this? So really have a look inside the level, try creating one of your own. Now you can see these ones, Ctrl B, we had tested them before. You can double click on it to open this one up. What is the logic behind this one? And really learn this way. Guys, this is a pretty neat project to delve in right now. And then you can also watch their official video onto their YouTube page. And they explain it more in depth. But I just want to show you quickly how this project can enable you to learn more about Unreal Engine 5 and how Epic Games actually themselves create the game just like this. Remember to have a nice day and keep on learning UE5.
Thank you.